Access to capital is a nearly universal issue in the small business world, with cash flow problems abounding and about 80% of small business loan applications being rejected. Due to this, and to disorganization, a lack of understanding of the consequences, and a host of other reasons, more than 87% of business owners intermix personal and business credit, and 67% use personal credit cards in their business. Now, those statistics are staggering and scary, and when I heard them while on a SCORE webinar this past week, I realized I needed to give everyone a little reminder about how important it is to keep your business finances in order, and that includes keeping them separate from your personal finances. With that said, here are the top three reasons to keep your business and personal finances completely separate, and some tips for how to do so. Reason number one for keeping separation between your business and your personal finances, business planning. If you're intermixing your personal and business money, it becomes very difficult for you to keep track of how much your business actually makes. I have worked with clients in the past who have been shocked to find out that their businesses actually lose money. By intermingling their funds, they had hidden the truth and been pouring money into a failing venture. Reason number two, taxes. This is very much related to business planning, but now we're involving the IRS instead of just you. If you've been intermingling your accounts, how on earth will you be able to tell what you've made or lost and what expenses are legitimate write-offs? Even if your company is a pass-through entity, so its profit or loss shows up on your personal taxes, you still need to be able to fill out the forms correctly and know what was a legitimate business expense that can be written off and what was personal and cannot be. If you're a typical business owner, you certainly don't have time to dig through all of your paperwork and go item by item to figure out the entire year's expenses, nor would you want to, so just keep everything separate to begin with. Reason number three, liability. If you've made the wise choice to form your company as an entity that provides you legal protection for your personal assets should your business default on debts or be sued, by intermingling your funds you are chipping away at that protection. This situation is called piercing the corporate veil and means that once you've mixed funds so that it's difficult to distinguish between the company and the person, you can be personally held liable for that company's actions and debts regardless of what type of company it is. Now that I've hopefully scared you into keeping your business and personal finances separate, here are some tips for disentangling yourself. Tip number one, immediately set up a separate bank account for your company. Separate accounts mean separate checkbooks, separate debit cards, and separate bank statements, so it's easy to keep track of what expenses belong to the business and what was personal. And of course, remember to use the right debit card when you're making purchases, no cheating. Tip number two, if you do accidentally intermingle, just clean it up immediately. If you buy some office supplies on your personal card, for example, the second you realize your mistake, you should create an expense reimbursement form for yourself and then cut a check from your business account to your personal account to reimburse the expense. If you buy groceries with the company card, do the same. Cut a check from your personal account to the business account and leave a note that it was a reimbursement. Tip number three, make it a priority to monitor and actively work to improve your cash flow situation on both the personal and business sides of your life. One of the major reasons for intermingling of funds is cash flow problems, so if you can sort out your cash flow issues, there will be no reason that you'll need to intermingle. Take a look at what's currently happening and see what changes you can make to improve your cash flow. I'll provide a video soon with some tips on how to do this. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter to get more tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your small business grow, as well as the latest entrepreneurship news. Mm -hmm.